WNUT News. Yeah, this is uh, Commander Weber with the WNUT News Week in Review for January 13th. Uh, 90s power couple Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie Presley reunited on Thursday after Presley checked into the Heartbreak Hotel. And by that, I mean she died of cardiac arrest. Uh, Lisa Marie Presley has left the building. In business news, Vince McMahon returned to the board of WWE this past week in a series of power moves that saw two board members resign, as well as his daughter, Stephanie McMahon, from her position as co-CEO there. Uh, Vince McMahon has been the subject of a number of sex-related scandals in the past year, including assault allegations and tens of millions of dollars in hush money payments to cover up affairs with employees of his own company. He returned to WWE the same way he allegedly likes to make love, without consent. In the world of music, guitarist Jeff Beck died on Tuesday at the age of 78. Jeff Beck is not to be confused with experimental alternative musician Beck, who recorded the hit song Loser in 1994, which stated, quote, I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me, unquote. In response, bacterial meningitis tried to do just that, but got the wrong motherfucker. And finally, The Best of WJAZ Part 2 is streaming as of noon today on YouTube. This presents WJAZ episodes 4 through 6 in a 98-minute megacut. This release includes my hip-hop debut on WJAZ's remake of the G-Funk classic Nothing But a G-Thing, in which I show Mark-ass SoundCloud rappers how this hip-hop game is played. You can stream both parts of The Best of WJAZ right now on the WNUT YouTube channel. Yeah, this has been Commander Weber with your Week in Review for January 13th. Please be sure to join us Fridays right here where I will do the same goddamn thing for all the week's most important stories. In UT News, you hear it first.